Hi, Leo. I hope you're doing well. My name is Harley and you are watching Manifest Leo 13. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to get into a reading for Leo for the next seven days. So we're going to see what messages want to come through for, the, for Leo. We're going to be looking at finances. We'll also look at love messages, whatever comes through, okay? So sit back, relax, enjoy your reading, Leo. I just want to remind everybody that I will be uh, stopping personal readings at the end of July. So if you want to get a, a reading, you can check out the description box there is a reading specifically for leos but i also have a lot of a lot of other options i don't know why i got tongue twisted all of a sudden all right so we have the high priestess let me move these cards over the queen of cups the two of pentacles i'm in a different setting obviously i'm outside in my backyard so if the camera's moving and stuff is because i'm in, not in my usual territory that might be why I was getting tongue-tied because I was like, maybe I'm picking up on somebody else's energy. And sure enough, with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, uh, somebody is just like baffled by your silence or by your unbotheredness, like your unbotheredness. And I don't mean like you don't like this person or you're not interested in them. I don't think that you're mad at them even, especially with the Queen of Cups. It's actually like, <laughs> it's almost like, oh, they know not what they do. Like, I don't know, maybe this person is trying to get you to be a little bit more interested or to pursue them. And for some of you, maybe that's the that's what they're used to. Maybe in the past, you were like the person who was kind of pursuing this person or, um, you know, like reaching out to them, texting them, you know, showing a lot of interest. What Leos tend to do when we really like somebody, we get really excited. We want to be able to be our generous self. And that's even with attention and affection. But in this case, with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, you're actually very focused on self. You're taking your spiritual baths. You are meditating. You are so manifesting, but you are in the yin side of manifesting. There's two sides of manifesting. There's, you know, that yang side that Leo really resonates with that you got to go out. You got to go out and get it. Um, you know, you got to do the work. But right now you're in that really like, oh, my season's coming up. I'm prepping. I'm resting. Um, you're not like, and for some of you, this is a message I just channeled. If you're feeling like kind of, I don't want to say lazy, but lions can be lazy at times, right? Like if you look at lions, they like to lounge around and sleep and stuff like that. If you're feeling like that, if you're feeling like you don't want to do a whole bunch right now, like don't, um, like don't give yourself a hard time, Leo. I'm hearing that spirit is saying that you actually need to rest. Maybe some of you, your season's going to be really popping. You got, you're going to have a lot going on for your birthday. Um, you know, whatever the case may be, you're going to be really busy soon. Or just for others of you, I'm getting the message that, you need to work on this energy like you need to work on being able to receive things leo we've really been talking about that for the last like this whole year honestly um so for some of you this is actually something you're working on which is being receptive you're working on your yin energy okay um so spirit says if you just feel like tired or you just feel like you just want to chill allow that to happen because that's actually improving your love life as well so i really feel like the ten of cups energy is coming in for you however the person that you're dealing with right now um, they are like the magician energy. So this person is just as powerful, just as attractive as you are. Um, so there may be a little bit of a power struggle here. There may be a little bit of this person trying to kind of get that Leo experience without really having to reciprocate with what you want, which is the 10 of cups. You want relationship. Maybe for some of you, you just feel like this person isn't giving enough. So honestly, you're not even worried about if this is your person. You're like, look, if this person doesn't want to settle down and give me a relationship, then I will manifest the person that is for me. So just know that you chilling and not chasing and relaxing and minding your business has somebody in a chokehold. Um, this is somebody who loves you a lot, but with the nine of cups, they could be kind of being selfish. I don't feel like this person's dealing with someone else. I feel like they may be single with the nine of cups, but you'll know, you know, what your situation is for some of you. This is third party, but I don't get that for everybody. Yep. Look your soulmate the king of cups and the queen of cups and the the soulmate for the high priestess is the magician so yeah i feel like this person feels like you would change their life or being with you would change their life and they really are afraid of this ending they're really afraid of taking that leap of faith because they don't know what it would mean i'm hearing this song and you guys if you follow me on instagram you know i love this song by Katy perry um what is that song oh my god dark horse yes it's like play with magic boy you should know what you're falling for it's like do you dare to do this because i'm coming at you like it's like basically she was telling him like yeah because when you get this magic your life is going to change and once you're mine um there's no going back it's kind of giving that energy so it's like some of y'all have this like 
dark horse i imagine this is like a dark horse right uh forget the horse imagine if you see this person on the horse okay it's kind of giving that energy but not in a scary way it's just like like this person would be maybe moving into their magician energy maybe you would be causing an awakening in this person and they're not ready for that but like for a lot of you they would ha they feel like they would have to change their life in some way this could be a physical move uh for some of you you may already have children so this person may not have children so like being a step parent would be a change for this person there's some sort of big change that they that th that this person needs to go through because the five of swords is saying that they're resisting they need to go through this change but you're just like you know what i already know that i'm not worried about you you do what you need to do Okay, so over the next seven days, you're kind of chilling. If it's quiet between you and somebody, do not stress about it. Don't worry about it. They are basically self-sabotaging. They're, they're making this way more difficult than it needs to be. So I feel like things will start to improve with you and this person over the next month. I'm really getting the Ace of Cups energy here. This could even be somebody that you're not even aware of. Maybe this person feels like in order to get with you, they would have to step up. They would have to like open pandora's box in a sense of hey i have feelings for you this is how i feel whatever the case may be some of you this person is a aries they could be a leo like yourself they could be a capricorn they could be a pisces cancer scorpio okay i don't feel like this is somebody who you guys don't like with the king of cups i just don't feel like this is somebody who is necessarily playing games like um i don't get knight of wands energy i get more so is this per this person is afraid of the change that they would have to go through like commitment it's like cold feet almost and i know people just want you like especially leos are like leos are like well if you don't want me now if you don't want me right now then i'm not going to be with you you're not in that energy you're not in the controlling energy at all with this person okay um, like I said, I don't even think you're really focused on one particular person. So that's what's coming through for love. Now, finances, um, I feel like finances are improving for you, Leo. Like I said, I feel like the name of the game for you, Leo, right now is working smarter, not harder. So do the things that you enjoy doing. Okay, I know for some of you, if you have a nine to five, then that's not, you know, not possible. But maybe they're maybe having more of a work personal life you know work uh personal life balance so you know if you work really hard you, you work a 12-hour shift make sure you're giving that yourself that much you know chill time that much going to the spa like if you work overtime okay a chunk of this overtime is this money coming in from overtime i'm going to dedicate that to taking myself out to ice cream i'm going to dedicate that to my to a little bit of shopping you know it has to be balanced here okay you're not in that sun energy you're not in the yang energy just yet you're in this high priestess queen of cups energy which is helping you manifest a lot of abundance for yourself but not only that it's helping you manifest somebody who wants to be very generous to you i feel like a lot of you aren't going to have to worry about money because you're going to be in a relationship with somebody who who provides for you because you have the cornucopia and you have the ace of pentacles like i said there's like a commitment coming in look you guys we have the nine of swords again i wish i was doing an extended for this but i'm not going to do an extended we have the nine of swords again and then we have the tower okay some of you this is an earth sign like i said earth sign or maybe a water sign could be an aquarius for some of you with a star card at the bottom of this deck yeah oh my god i knew i felt the ace of cups i didn't know it was at the bottom of the deck <laughs> i know i felt the ace of cups i feel so much better now because i was like why is the ace of cups not here and it came out because it was at the bottom of the deck i pulled the star off can't show the star like that <laughs> but yeah definitely getting ace of cups energy but yeah so you have a relationship coming in um but i also feel like this is somebody you could go into business with as well because we have the king and the queen of cups they are known as soulmates in the tarot deck okay um so just know that a lot of generosity and abundance is coming in but it's not you don't have to work super hard leo if you're working hard you're not in alignment with this energy and i know that's like really redundant for me to say to leos because like leos we work hard and i know some of you guys are like what are you talking about i gotta go out and get it trust me i have a true capricorn moon sidereal vedic capricorn moon not western my moon is truly in capricorn so if anybody knows about overworking and anybody who's been watching me for my tarot career knows i am an overworker but i am greatly greatly working on that and you know that's why i'm even like you know stopping personal readings because it's been draining my energy and to be honest with you i don't enjoy it as much as i used to anymore so i'm only doing things that i enjoy which is making content i really love doing content i really love doing readings for people on like and posting them on platforms that's what i really like to do so um that's what i'm doing you know so that's what i'm i'm getting for you all leo um the next seven days you're really focusing on yourself and not like 
to be spiteful not because you're like oh i gotta focus on myself like that cliche everything everybody's saying oh focus on yourself no this is actually naturally the energy that you're going to be in and if you fight this energy you're going to be tired you're going to want to lay down you're going to want to chill a lot more anyway okay so i hope that this is making sense thank you all so much for your support make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel yet so that way um we can get to 14,000. We're very, very close and we'll be doing our live stream. Make sure you comment below and let me know what time you see this. Let me know if you guys like my backyard setup. I might come out here earlier. I know there's a lot of sounds in the background, but let me know if y'all like my backyard setup. I'll come out here more often. And yeah, Leos, I love y'all. I will see y'all very soon. Peace.